Hi everyone, thanks for making the left turn for today, Sunday, April 21st, 2019. I'm George Farrar. Welcome back to the Jack's Life channel. Welcome back to History Jacksonville. I have a special History Jacksonville for you today, directly from my heart, our Cedar Hills. We're taking a look at the old Cedar Hills Theater. As I remember it, this looks to be possibly from the late 1970s. I really enjoyed visiting Cedar Hills with my family back in the day, which I defined back in the day for this show as early 1980s. Now, back in the 1950s, Cedar Hills really started to take off as a suburb of Jacksonville. Jacksonville uh, was actually, before 1968, uh, was, a, um, was a smaller city. And so the uh, Cedar Hills was actually out in Duval County. And so uh, Cedar Hills uh, now is, of course, part of Jacksonville after the consolidation. Uh, so here we see uh, the, uh, the development that was going on. And, you know, uh, here we see a community pool at the, uh, the park in 1959. Okay, check out the houses. You know, people were really going for the American dream in the late 1950s. Now, when you're kind of out, just outside of downtown, it's a bit of a drive to get into town, to do things, to get things, um, to, to buy, to shop, uh, to entertain yourself, you know. Uh, you want to have those opportunities. You want to have those opportunities right there uh, closer to you. And so... In the 1950s, a Cedar Hill shopping center was constructed, and back then it had the uh, a Woolworths. It had uh, a W.T. Grant as a department store back then. Had a Win Dixie. The Win Dixie was actually uh, part of it. On the um, this would have been a part of the original center before changes were made later on in the Win Dixie moved to the other side of, of Wilson. Here we see kind of a front on look at as you would be approaching. Uh, so think about it, you know, if you're in the 1950s and you're on the west side of Jacksonville, you know, I-295 doesn't yet exist, okay? The Buckman Bridge hasn't yet been built in the 1950s. And, you know, it'll get easier in the 1960s to get into downtown. But right now, hey, you have a lot of things. Hey, a Kenny Shoe Store, for example, okay? You can do a lot of individual shopping in individual stores. And, you know, it, shopping itself can be certainly the most uh, mundane thing when you think about it. But when we go back, it's one thing we can have in common uh, with people back years ago. Um, I've, I've, myself, uh, I can reflect on a lot of good times. Now, as we pan back, I want to just talk a little bit about this area. Now, we're talking about the area of Blanding Boulevard. That would be State Road 21, State Route 21, Blanding Boulevard, and Wilson, with Wilson uh, going out to, uh, to the west. Now, here we see it before you would have the Winn-Dixie constructed in the tax collector's office. If you see all that dirt to the right of the shopping center, Okay, that was that's where the tax collector's office ultimately would be, and this is in, this is Jamie's and Wilson in the 1950s. Okay, two lane road. We've got you know it, it just things are just getting going in a big way on the west side. So uh, now I want to talk a little bit about our Cedar Hills, the old Cedar Hills movie theater, no longer there. Uh, it's now another business. Uh, but I have so many fond memories of the Cedar Hills Theater. It was a classic theater. Now, here's an, uh, a logo of Eastern Federal Corporation, which was the company at one point uh, when they had a chain of movie theaters that operated it. Okay, And they also operated another theater or two or a couple theaters in the area and then throughout the, the, the southeast. So now I don't remember this front here with the now showing and, and it looks like it says, I guess it looks like Betty Davis. I'm not really sure. Um, but I can't really make out this picture as well as I would like. But now we sharpen it to, hey, this is how I remember. This is how, if you look at the billboard on the right, that will show you WAIV, I believe it's WAIV radio. And, and when I remember a lot of times too, at some point, I think this was in the mid '80s, seen a Rock 105 ad. Okay, the Rock, the Rock, you know, Rock 105, the radio station, seen that ad. And of course, here we see the the easy approach right in. You know, back in the day, it was just so easy at C 
team like to do things? You know, it was like, okay, now we're, we're going to the mall. Did you set your appointment for what movie you selected? And did you go on the website? And did you select your seat? And it's just, you know, and, and so it, it was a whole different way of living in some ways back then. It's something that I yearn for. It's something I look back and, and I just, oh man, you know, the, 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 the positive feelings I got because that was a classic movie theater. And when you would, you would, when you would come out at night, let's say you went in, let's say at dusk or, you know, early evening, you would come out at night and, and it would be lit up. Okay. Now, okay. So the movie theaters later on, things kind of changed and, and ultimately uh, the movie theater uh, ended uh, that ended and ultimately this building would later become occupied become a gym uh later on i think now it's like a, a discount auto parts store right some sort of auto parts store advanced auto parts i believe i'm not uh, but I, I you know i always have in my heart when i think of cedar hills the first thing that comes to mind is that great movie theater where i i really got intrigued by the different things that you know the different movies i could see with my with my uh with my father my stepmother my half brother uh, in the early 80s. Now here we go. We flashed kind of back. We went backwards. We rewound the bat uh, a bit uh, back to um, to the 1950s again. Think about you know. I mean later on, if you think about how much things, some things change, but some things stay the same. You know, and then you know. Now we're gonna flash forward a little bit more, <laughs> uh, and and. I want to talk with you about movie gallery because when I went, when I would visit also Cedar Hills back in the early 80s, Cedar Hills was also like my taste of the West Side because in my first introduction to the West Side, because I wouldn't actually move to live on the West Side until the late 1980s, until 1989. Okay. But in the meantime, I would be visiting Cedar Hills to be entertained uh, because, hey, my, my, um, my, uh, my uh, father and my stepmother, and, and you know we would be wanting to get um, back then the big thing was uh, videotapes getting movies on videotape and so you would go over we had a beta uh, uh, videotape player not VHS okay so we were always going over to movie gallery we would cross the Buckman Bridge a much narrower Buckman Bridge I can tell you that and we'd go into Cedar Hills and we'd, we'd go to the movie ga gallery we'd pick out our, uh, our, our videotapes and you know so but back here we come back to the theater again you know um, great memories back then uh, a real fun neighborhood there was a pizza place in the shopping center I recall uh, you know uh, you always kind of hope uh, for the best uh, for the neighborhoods of the city of Jacksonville I do want to announce that on future episodes of history Jacksonville I want to be looking at more movie theaters and drive-ins. And I mean, the West Side has got some great stuff when it comes to drive-in movie theaters. Okay? And movie theaters. So, uh, I'm excited about what I've got to bring you in coming episodes as we look, in, uh, as we are approaching towards the, approaching the end of Season 7, looking on to Season 8. I want to thank you for watching. The best is yet to come here on the Jack's Life channel. Take it easy. See you later.